Hey everyone, today's review is on this travel backpack. So I wanted to have a backpack that would fit like four to five days worth of items and that I can either use as a personal item or even as a carry-on because I was afraid like, you know, in some airlines they're like, oh, we run out of headspace and so uh, overhead bin space. So we need to check in your carry-on roller luggage and so i just wanted to avoid that um because i'm so scared of my luggage getting lost so and i feel like a backpack always kind of slides by so i got this and i have a ton of stuff in it so i wanted to show you all the things i have in it plus all the features um it is normally on amazon so there is a couple of other colors like gray and pink and I think like beige. The black and the pink were really cheap. They were like $42 plus like 10% off. And then the other colors were all $49. But this one had all the features I was looking for. So many bags just like had so many features but was like missing one for me. Anyhow, um, this is a 35 liter, expands to 40 liters. So I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and let me just show you like kinda, and again, this right now is not expanded, so I zipped up the expand, and uh, I'm going to show you how big it looks. So it is pretty big, right? But again, it's still a backpack, and it should pass as far as taking it as a personal item. So let me go over the features of this. So in the front, it has a zipper pocket, it is the size of this area here, nothing to it. And then this side pocket here is the whole front area, which is nice. The front pocket is one of those like wet items or it even can act as like a cooler if you had some sort of food in there. So it's got like this, material here. It does go the whole length of the backpack. It only zips like, you know, halfway here, but it does have two zippers. Um, I'll show you the main compartment in a minute, but the very last uh, compartment is for a laptop. It advertises, I think, up to 17 inches, so it's very big. It is padded on both sides. There's no pockets or anything there. It's just one large pocket. The straps are really padded, which is nice. It does have the chest strap here, but it also has the luggage sleeve pass-through and then one of these like security secret pockets that would be up against your back if you wanted to put like your wallet and cell phones and things in there. And it's pretty big, right? So it goes like this whole area. And this part is also very padded. And then there's padding right here as well. These straps do unbuckle. I'm a little bit worried about these buckles because I feel like, I don't know that they're like the best quality. So I don't know how much it will hold up, I guess we'll see. I did see one review of somebody who said theirs broke, but these do detach and then you can stick them in here so that they're hidden and then you can zip this up. So technically, if you didn't have these out, you could put these in here. You could probably put some other things in here and close it. If you have these out, then uh, you can still put stuff in here, but obviously it would remain open, so you would have to consider that. It does have a handle up here, a handle right here, and then a water bottle pocket. It's a mesh one. It seems to go out pretty far. This was one of the things, believe it or not, where like either the backpack didn't have a water bottle sleeve or it didn't have the expandable option. Um, so to me, my important features were the water bottle, 
the expandable option, the um, luggage pass through, and this little pocket here. So this hit all the things that I was looking for. Now, let's see, also on the outside, you have this here so that you can compress the backpack if you needed to, you know, make it a little bit skinnier sometimes if you wanna, especially if you wanna like fit it in that like um, checker to see if your luggage is small enough as a personal item, then you could do that. Now, and it also has one of these um, so that you can do like a, put out like your charger cord or whatnot. All right, so let me show you the main compartment. And the reason I didn't show you that is because I have a ton of stuff in here and I wanted to show you. Again, it's not expanded and I still have a ton of room in here that I could put like so much stuff. So the way it opens is gonna be like this, right? So if you are, if you aren't gonna, if you wanna just kind of get into it and not open the whole thing and have things fall out, you definitely have to be mindful about like having your zippers just be like halfway on each side so that when you open it up, only the top opens up. Also forgot to mention that it did come with these two clear little bags, which is kind of cool because I think one of the, I think this is probably quart size TSA, so you could use that. And then the smaller one. So those are really nice little things that it came with. Now, let me show you the inside. So this side here has um, a zippered mesh pocket. It has this uh, two, like one for like a pen and then one for like a little bit bigger. And then this part here, which only actually goes down to this area here. It's just a little slip pocket here. And then on this side, you see I have a ton of clothes in here right now. It does have like this, you know, that you would typically see in an actual luggage so that you can compress your clothes down and kind of just hold it down. I obviously didn't like even bother folding these or anything. I just threw them in here. Um, but that's also a nice option because obviously you can compress your clothes down a little bit more and keep it in place too if you opened it up, right? Didn't Like everything didn't fall out. So I have two tank tops. I have this bathing suit, another bathing suit, some jean shorts another bathing suit, another pair of jean shorts, um, a dress, three rompers, another swimsuit, another swimsuit, two pairs of shorts. Um, let's see here. This is another romper, two more dresses. Yeah, I'm telling you, I put so much stuff in here. It was crazy. And then I have three, two more dresses here, and then like this jumpsuit romper, and then two other rompers. So, and again, there was still a ton of room for me to fit stuff in here. You'll see the inside, it's just like this. So it's like your typical luggage. And I was looking, my roll roller bag is, I think it was 38 liters, and then it expands to 42. And this again expands to 40. And so it's almost like the same size as my roller luggage. Now, if I expand it, I wanna just make sure I use the right one. You'll see here on the outside, this is how much room it gives you. And you'll see on the inside too, that, see this part here, this part expands so you have that extra depth in the backpack. So yeah, I mean, I think this is such a great option if um, you know you don't want to do a roll away. It does, I think the measurements were like 17.3 by six, but it expands to eight and then this was 12.2. Standard personal item on most airlines, not all, is 18 by 14 by 11, I think. Look it up though, I might be off by an inch. 
So if you didn't pack it completely all the way, I think you would be totally fine, um, even if you did. So I think you would be fine. But again, you know, some airlines are more strict than others, so keep that in mind. Um, but again, it definitely would pass as a carry-on and in on some airlines as a personal item. So I highly recommend this. I did buy a couple of other ones, of course, just to compare. So I will do reviews on those as well so that you can compare. And I'll put links in the description to all the backpacks that I bought. I hope this helps in your buying decision. Oh, and this is like a nylon material, by the way. If you have any questions, put them uh, in the comments and I will respond to you. I can. Thanks a lot. Bye.